There's something unmistakably seductive about American muscle cars. Real car lovers possess an almost primeval, instinctive fascination with powerful predatory automobiles. 300 horsepower, 350 foot-pounds of torque, 8,000 RPMs, all are tantalizing invitations to hammer the ground with spontaneous combustion. Muscle cars will always be prowling the roads of America in some degree, but if you're really power hungry, blow your horn. This is Bob Peeney, and this is his ride, a 10-wheeled, turbocharged beast of burden that provides plenty of grunt. It's a W900, 1987, Kenworth Aerodyne with a 444 horsepower Cummins motor at 2100 RPMs it's rated. It costs brand new $82,500. 444 horsepower, only about 60 more than a ZR1 Corvette. $82,500? That's four Z28 Camaros. How much extra was it for that engine, Bob? Uh, it was about 25,000. Some other assorted slices of gingerbread? 10 alloy wheels, $2,600. Aluminum fuel tanks, about $1,500. Extended sleeper cap, $12,000. And a couple of chromed air cleaners, that'll be $900. Bob is one of the many owner operators who are the hired guns of transportation today. If someone needs something hauled, Bob is the guy they call. On the day we ran into Bob, he had just finished hauling equipment for singer Van Morrison's concert tour. Any other famous customers? Uh, the Stones, uh, The Who, uh, Millie Vanilli, uh, Harry Belafonte, just name a few. And with all of the use this muscle-bound behemoth gets, expenses can get somewhat oversized as well. Well, a lot of the roads need to be fixed. Uh, I'd like to know where my money goes for the government that we're paying all these highway taxes because it's not definitely going back into the roads. It runs about $4,000 a year. And that's not all. A tire for this truck is about $300. And don't forget the monthly service. Change the filters, the oil, grease it. DOT inspection, that's about $110. And those two 150-gallon fuel tanks, well, at $1.45 a gallon, it's well over $200 a fill-up, not to mention the truck payment, which is a cool $1,800 a month. So it's not surprising that whenever something comes along that can help save a trucker a little overhead, they listen up. Which led us to this little frame-mounted box with a little exhaust pipe on it. This is the motor uh, for the Power Jenny. Uh, this is the air compressor. This is what the savings is. It runs the air conditioning. and It'll also run the heating during the winter, and it will keep your water cool in your engine during the winter time so you don't have to run your big motor which is the equivalent of like 80 miles per hour because of its inefficiencies to operate at, at idling it's no good for it. This little tag-along power station costs an added five thousand dollars but it will more than pay for itself by extending the life of the truck's main engine which if it needs a complete overhaul would require about ten thousand dollars. Inside this twenty thousand pound road warrior there's air conditioning, all kinds of switches and instruments and even a cellular phone. Ever see the inside of a double berth sleeper cab with a television? Well, here's Bob's. Bob's Kenworth reflects a very traditional styling approach to trucks. Little attention is paid to aerodynamics or weight reduction. It's the way that big trucks have been built for many decades. That is, until the arrival of the Ant Eater. Since 1985, Kenworth has built this style of space-age truck. Its nickname, the Anteater, comes from its sloped nose. Jim Carroll, a veteran Kenworth sales executive, knows the advantages it provides. This is a 1990 model T600, which is the most advanced aerodynamic truck on the marketplace today. The end result being lower operating costs, better fuel economy, and consequently a more profitable truck for an owner-operator to have. Bob's more traditional-looking Kenworth gets about six miles to the gallon with a full trailer behind it. A slipperier, lighter truck like the Anteater will probably save some money in the long haul. Jim, about how much more efficient is the Anteater over a truck that was built, say, 10 years ago? Uh, operating this truck 
uh, one could safely expect to receive in the neighborhood of seven miles per gallon. Ten years ago, uh, you'd be looking at uh, fuel consumption in the neighborhood of four and a half miles per gallon. So the savings are rather significant. This truck has the kind of looks that makes it pinup material. And there are plenty of truckers who would love to own one, but... The world is full of dreamers. About two out of five are successful in getting their credit approved for that type of loan. And how much can we have one for, Jim? A truck like this would run approximately $90,000, which includes 12% of the federal excise tax. Well, whether your preference is the traditional or the cutting edge, when the time comes for you to get behind the wheel of some honest-to-goodness American muscle, you might want to put that vet or Mustang on hold and bring a $90,000 bill down to Jim Carroll and drive away in an incredible hulk. <laughs>